So, we're gonna have to do a tiebreaker match uh, of the Felstar Minures and the uh, Trop Kicks. And I believe Sarki Hero sent the link. I'm gonna have to do my second layout for this, I think. Let me check. Aki, leave cold so we can talk shit about your match. <laughs> Yo, I always don't want to leave the call just because I want to be here when you start talking. <laughs> yeah, no, but I want to say what plays you should do, but I can't do that while you're here unmuted because that's ghosting you. Alright, you that's know what? Cheap. I got you. I'm just going to go ahead and death myself. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Yes, I love you. Alright, let me... Too. Good luck. Good luck to both involved. I'm just going to make this little uh, adjustment here to the Okay, layout. so full disclosure, I built this team. I built Aki's team. Okay, if he okay. loses with this, I'm gonna be it. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just mark down. Um, actually, do I have them on the correct sides? I do. That's like the first time I've been on the correct side the first try. All right. Let me get this. Um, let me get these. Uh, oh, actually, I can't. No, no, no. Okay. I should. I should say. Um, the. The win loss. This is not going to count toward win loss, and it's not going to count toward differential, since this is an extra battle that they're doing above and beyond what um, anybody else in the league has to do. So it's not going to it's not going to affect either one of their scores. So this is simply for the purpose of determining who goes to playoffs in the fourth slot for the Magenta Conference. So as such, I don't have to keep any stats for that. All right. Good luck to both. I'm going to. Let them know that they can start. Uh, so this in uh, Mimi's entire team is Aerodactyl fodder. Uh, it's Honkhorn's Aerodactyl with Life Orb. So if he gets the plus, it's kind of tickets for Mimi. Hmm. But uh, she yeah, she's packing a lot of her Ice Mons, which I thought Weavile and Cryogon will both show up. Uh, mm -hmm. and Blaziken handles them pretty nicely. But Metal Ladder is actually kind of a problem because uh, most of our team, most of his team is slow. Mm -hmm. And I think the one team we, one thing we have for Mellow is a Luxray and Skunk Tank or Skunk Tank Sucker Punch. All right. So let's see, who's he gonna swap into? Thinking. Into the Clefable. Ah, oh, she brought the relic song. That's actually pretty good, um, because. This is max defense for Fable, so this is gonna take absolutely nothing. Well, plus it being fighting type now. Kinda Yeah, unreal. so it's also weak to Moonblast. Yep. Uh, predicted a setup. It didn't work. I mean, that could have been a good move on Clefable, but yeah, not definitely not in pure wet form. I don't get why the hell she keeps bringing snatch on these things that, like, I'm not even sure if you can snatch wish. If you can snatch wish. Yeah, but, I don't know. Like, I th she might have been trying to snatch, like, a Calm Mind or a Cosmic Power, I guess. Like, you literally just wasted your mother. Congratulations. Um, I mean, it would have been better uh, on some against something she wasn't weak to. Yeah, fun fun tidbit. But actually, uh... Guts Luxray with Troy Scarf. So if he doesn't play like an idiot <laughs> and set up rocks versus a rapid spin and instead just decides to go hard Luxray, which is what he should be doing. There it is. Thank you. God. Okay, well, the good thing is she doesn't really have much that wants to switch into the wild charge is totally free. She mm -hmm. has counter with me, three weaknesses, and no resistances. Right. And that did an ass load. I totally read that Weavile's name as Nyquil at first. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, what he should do is definitely pull... Yep, there we go. That's a good play. That's a good play. Uh, why brick break? I don't okay, know. Okay, so brick break makes no sense here. That means she's probably not running poison jab, and I don't get why he didn't just wish that. Because if she flinches him, Clef is dead. Yeah. There it is! <sighs> yeah. Like, you, you're saying it as soon as I see it. I'm like, yep. <laughs> okay, so now he has to, like, either protect here and then hope for a crash miss and then go for Wish. Or just sack the Fable and then get in Luxray again. We do have superpower on Luxray, so it will OCO this Weavile 100% of the time if it's not Sash. But I'm thinking it is Sash because... That, uh... Yeah, that, um... That Icicle Crash is doing diddly. That's doing nothing. Here comes the chicken. Oh yeah, Blaziken also takes this pretty handily. Um, it's never too KO'd by any of Weavile's attacks if it's Choice Banded. And it's very obviously not Choice Banded, so... Something's dying. He shouldn't try and set up here, but... I think he's just gonna go for it. Kinda set up. Flame Charge set up at the least. Yeah, he should pull out here. Like, you don't want to sack this as soon. Mm -mm. Oh, he's setting up. That was a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Please, t thank you. God damn it. <laughs> Volt Switch was a decent play. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Not quite sure what he's going to bring in here. I think Aerodactyl should be his play. Uh, because that stops Weavile and... Tent uh, Weavile and Mandibuzz. Yeah. And then if he goes... If she goes Tentacruel or Manaphy... You can go to either, like, something to sack it and then bring in Luxray. Yeah. Yeah, like, something to sack it or bring in Luxray, that's pretty what much el What else does Skuntank have? Because... What's... It's, uh, especially attacking. It's a mix set mm -hmm. with Sucker Punch, Sludge Bomb, Fire Blast, and Defog. Okay, so... Because she could bring spikes on, like, Cloyster mm -hmm. or something. But she didn't bring it. Right. Please go hard Lux right here. It's what it's there for. Yeah, don't leave your another thing weak to Tentacruel out against Tentacruel. Actually, depending on Mimi spread, this might just kill. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It depends on how defensive this is. Because we're life orb stone, and if she's no defense investment, this is gonna kill. This dies. So he he could stay in and stone. We're not Earthquake, because we didn't need the coverage. Okay, go Skuntank. Uh, we were just... I don't know, the- I mean... I feel like... This Tentacruel has some offensive investment. It's doing a lot with Sludge. Yeah. I mean, with Scald. I mean, going Skuntank is fine. You don't exactly need a great deal this match. I was uh, gonna say, Skuntank yeah. doesn't do too much, except... I guess, against Weavile. Yeah, just really quick Sucker Punch. Um... It was mostly there for Weavile in case she brought it, but she didn't bring it, so it doesn't really do anything. Else. I think he just cl keeps uh, clicking Sucker Punch here. Yeah, probably. Because I can't imagine Tentacruel can do anything to status Skuntank. 
I mean, you can just scold it, but like if she keeps spamming haze, that's it's fine, I guess. Yeah, I mean that's just stalling at that point. Yeah. And you can even hit this with a sludge bomb, since I can guarantee you whatever this thing goes, it's not killing the skunk tank. Mm hmm And there's Brick Break again. Yeah, I don't actually get why Brick Break was brought. Um, I'm not even sure if it hits anything for super effective mm -hmm. on... I'm it actually doesn't even hit anything for super effective. I'm surprised on Fire Blast. Aki's entire mm -hmm. drop. Yeah, we had to go Fire Blast over Flamethrower, uh, since... I'm surprised it didn't do Flame more. Flamethrower went to a KO Vile Plume. Mm. I'm pretty sure this is in Volt Switch range, and she has no immunity, so... I, you, fine. I uh, have a theory that die. she brought Brick Break um, in case he brought Meow Stick to set up screens. I, I, I guess I get that. I mean, that's the only that's the only use it would have against his draft. I could I could picture that's her doing max, that. That is max defense. Okay. Uh, I think he tries going for his gun and prays the fucking god. That it's not Brave Bird. Mm. Or alternatively, go Aerodactyl and set up a home course. And there's the Brave Bird. It is going to take itself out, though. So we're two to two. But Clefable's fairly worn. Yeah, now he can't set up Arrow on anything, so. Yeah, this is rough. And there's a Tail Glow. I mean, it's fine while unaware, but if he gets the wish up... Oh, true. Um, it's not actually Yeah, just wish anything. protect. Right, as long as Clefable doesn't go down to Manaphy, it's fine. Oh, and she's scold, which is actually even better, since... I think that's gonna do a grand total of about 30 to 40 percent. Yeah, that's all drawing anything, so... I guess the main concern is if she, um... If she burns him, that could neuter his... Leftovers recovery, and that's very annoying. Yeah, that would make it more difficult. Or random crit. <laughs> if he actually- if he gets this in range, of Stone Edge from Life Orb Aerodactyl, mm -hmm. that could still win. I'm not quite. I don't remember what um what HP percentage Tentacruel is on, but uh -huh. he could still win with Arrow if that needs to become a uh, if that needs to become a win condition. But the leftovers on Manaphy is ensuring that. He can't go too many turns without attacking. Yeah, yeah. So there's only so much that he can kind of stall out. <clears throat> going for the Shadow Ball, maybe going for special defense. Fishing ball? for spidef drops, yeah. but I think it's better to fish for burns here. You really want that um, leftovers recovery nuded? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, probably s trying to save Scalds for Aerodactyl, but, I mean, she, sh she should still I mean, have plenty at this point. I mean, if that plus five, anything's gonna kill it at this This rate, is true.
Yep, she's looking for the burn. Are they just taking forever to make their move? I haven't seen them. Okay, there we go. And there goes the Manaphy. Does Aerodactyl have Earthquake? No, it's a uh, Stone Edge Wing Attack. And but yeah, this is definitely in range for Stone Edge anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just actually hitting the Stone Edge. Right, that's what I was thinking. But she could even knock it in range of Wing Attack, and it also depends very much on the spread. Mm -hmm. But pretty much, even if it's max HP max. Um, defense, it's gonna die. Yeah, so that's guaranteed dead to Stone Edge. Just as long as it hits. Alright, so the moment of truth is here. It misses! Oh, did it, did it miss? Does uh, Arrow die? Uh, and, and it's burned? Okay, so yeah, it's really gonna depend on the... Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it, it lives on 3%? Oh my gosh, that was about as close as it could have been. I mean, wow. like, yeah, that luck sucks, but, um... Aki could have avoided it by just not playing like shit for the rest of the match, so... <laughs> well, there's... there's Frenzy's analysis. Alright, so once again, stats are not affected, however, it does mean that the trap kicks are the fourth qualifier for playoffs in the Magenta Conference. Alrighty. Um, so, once again, uh, we're gonna- we're gonna do this- um, alright. By the end of tonight, I will have the- the brackets figured out for who faces whom. Um, it'll- it'll be seated based on ranking inside of the conference, and I'll- I'll, um, I'll take care of that. And, uh, but I'll get that to you guys by tonight. Um, but just to recap, the four teams in each conference making it to the playoffs, we, as we already said in the Saiyan Conference, we have the Sacramento Squirtle Squad, the Massachusetts Mimikyus, the California Corviknights, and the Denver Dark Rise. And in the Magenta Conference, we have the Mulla 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 Mullas, the London Lilla Pups, the Detroit Legends, and the Trop Kicks. I'm depressed. Goddamn disappointment. How? So, so sir... Akihiro, did you hear any of Frenzy's commentary? No, and I wish he'd keep it that, to himself. That's, I, that's I, for I, the I best. Don't feel, I, I don't want to feel any worse. Yeah, well, you can... Why did you set up a blazekin in front of the tentacruel? Why? You had Lux right there. <laughs> that is the one reason we put it on this team. We got I think I think Frenzy is more upset tentacruel. than you are, if it's any consolation. Um, I am upset. All right, guys. I'm well, not angry with you. I'm just disappointed, son. Just all right. disappointed. All right. So, um, Sarkiro, in case you didn't hear, um, I I'll be I'll be putting the stats up. Um, we'll be for those of you in playoffs. We'll be figuring out. I will be posting tonight, um, the the brackets for the playoffs. And uh, yeah, I think that's all there is to it. But we will try. Um, your round one playoff match will be due one week from today. That is the 28th of October. So that'll be one round. And then we'll, of course, it'll be three rounds total. Well, I, I know it's gonna be kind of weird. We're gonna do like a one stream per round, but that gives everybody time to prepare their matches. I, I think that's fair. You um, know, I actually did scream when, when I missed. <laughs> like someone actually came in to see if I was okay. You could have <laughs> avoided that situation by just not playing stupidly for the rest of the match. But... Well, and then, and well, then the I'm burn... I'm sorry, I don't play... I haven't been playing Pokemon as much as, as I've been wanting to. Well, it... You don't! <laughs> Use Firemons against Watermons! I thought she would switch! Why?! <laughs> because I usually pack Earthquake. She knows this! Yeah, but Tentacle was faster! Tentacle was faster! I had a... Okay, you well... We, we can, I don't we, even know what it is anymore. I'm too sad. All right, we can finish that. I mean, it is sad because you did have another. You do. You would have had another chance with. 
You would have had another chance with the Stone Edge had you not been burned. So, <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I, would, I wouldn't it have happens. been sad if I, if I didn't miss the first time. All right. Well, we'll we'll continue the post mortem off air. But um, in the meantime, you guys know your stuff. I'm going to update the stat sheets just so you guys can see the final tallies for all of that. Um, and yeah, like I said, one more time, I'm going to get the brackets for playoffs posted tonight. So stay tuned for that. And that's going to do it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next week for PGBL season two playoff round one. Good night, everybody. Good night.